Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. We got some breaking news. What do you got? What? All right. So the Uncharted movie. Oh Ooh. yeah. Uh, got we, a finally, cast? we got a director. Well, Tom Holland is still gonna play, okay. I guess, oh, is young Nathan Drake, which is All right, let me still really silly. Am I, so don't tell me the director is yet. Is, okay. is it yeah. someone? Is it someone fa- really big? No. All right. Okay. No. Is it someone that we're gonna like? Yes. Okay. So it's someone we'll know. Uh, you'll know of the movie. You might not know of his name. But you're gonna know. But once, but once you tell us the movie that he directed in the past, or she directed in the past, mm-hmm. we will be happy. You say. Yes. Okay. So, who is this director? 10 Cloverfield Lane's Dan Trachtenberg. Oh. Yes, Queen. Yeah. Yes, dig it. Huh. That's Queen. good. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't love that movie, but I like, the, direct, like, I, I like the, direct, the directing, though. Is he related to, uh, what's her name, Michelle Trachtenberg? Or? Mm. Uh-huh. I don't know. Well, well, that's Alex cool. So he's locked in for that. Is he, I wonder if he's a fan of the game. Or Danielle Trachtenberg. That's Hopefully. Funny. I know Sean Levy well, was supposed to be part of it, but then he left. Yeah, and, he dropped uh, out. I think him, this is him, Seth Gordon, David O. Russell are does still it, attached to the project. To does it matter to you, Christian, a lot? Uh, somebody being a fan? Yes, it does. It it, it, it matters a lot. Me too. I, I believe I, he did a uh, a video game short of Portal. Okay, like Portal that's, right. that's good. Yeah. That's, that's good. So I mean, video game stuff. Before. So, well, here's an example for that. Like, Cody just saying that this guy's a gamer, right? And if he comes in and, and maybe he just locks himself in a room now, he's not a big fan of it, but he locks himself in a room, becomes a fan, and says, "Okay," because if that happens, that mm-hmm. happens too. Um, I just think that it's sitting when I worked at Silver Pictures, it was the people that came in that really knew the material and were fans of it that gave you the passion it takes and knew that you can go in this. And we, he and I talking about He Man and going through, like, if we were really in it, like, you, that's who you want. You want passionate people about yeah. it. Now, you don't want fanboys necessarily because then it could get too inside baseball, but sometimes too inside baseball is not too bad. Mm-hmm. It just depends. It just depends on, on the takes. But I think just. You get into a problem sometimes when you hire someone who's just a really good director that is just a good director and, oh, I can direct anything. Don't just get a name to get a name. Get someone who really cares about the project. I remember I was so excited early on when we were talking, when DC was talking about the Batman with Affleck directing it and Jeff Johns helping him because it was like we've got somebody who's great at filmmaking and somebody who knows the material and that combination is so perfect. Mm -hmm. If you can get that in one person. That's what you hope for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's that's interesting though. It's uh, I, I I like that call better than if I was here. Like for example, like nothing against the guy. I think he's a nice guy. But when they said McG was going to direct Masters of the Universe, I I almost said yeah. I refused to see the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was it, what a disaster that movie would have been. Thank God. Has there ever been a movie you actually refused to see? No, I usually go and and see everything, but it's I I would be very upset going into that movie if McGee <laughs> had directed that. Like I'm gonna be, I mean, I'll be ups- It's gonna be hard. To, it's gonna be hard to please me for Masters of the Universe unless unless I see that that tone. It's gonna be very hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I just know what that movie could be. 